Hi, I'm Dave Bolton and I am the founder and lead trustee of Ahead of the Game Foundation. In May 2014, I was diagnosed with an astrocytoma, grade two brain tumor. Following a successful craniotomy and debulking, um, I was sent on my way. A year later, in July 2015, it was shown that a glioblastoma multiform IDH1 wild type had presented in, in my brain. Following another successful craniotomy and debulking, I then underwent dual radiotherapy and chemotherapy, followed by six months of double strength chemotherapy. I am now eight years past where I should be, and that puts me in a category of 2% of the world's population to be five and so long past their terminal diagnosis. I got involved with the Brain Tumor Charity through working with their uh, Young Ambassador Programme. Uh, I became a mentor and joined their online programmes. So that's their programme where young adults uh, between the ages of 16 and 23 who've been diagnosed with a brain tumour go through a specific course. Uh, so I've worked with the Brain Tumor Charity, working alongside them. I've also worked with the Brain Tumor Charity, um, pushing the narrative towards brain tumours, with them only being 1% funded out of all, all, all cancers. Um, I've attended the What If programme and was the keynote uh, presentation where we spoke about that we are people, we are not patients and that is now being developed as a, a strategy to be rolled across the country, across all foundations, trusts and organisations involved with brain tumours. The best thing I think for me working with the Brain Tumour Charity is being able to use my lived experience um, to help and support those who are going through a similar situation. As me being so far past where I should be, I think it's my obligation or my, my duty to stand up for those who are going through um, brain tumours or brain cancer, but also for those who have passed before us. So the best thing about working in the Brain Tumour Charity is using my experience to help those um, who need it the most. My hope for the future is that I can use my platform and my experience to raise the profile of brain tumours to make a positive impact on how they are thought of, they are acknowledged, but most importantly, how they are funded. With brain tumors only being funded 1% of all cancers, that's 1%, um, it is important that we try and get to the same level of funding of other cancers, because if we don't, it's gonna take us 100 years to get to that point. So my hope is that I can make a positive impact and get better funding um, at the top level for brain tumors. To defeat brain tumours, uh, I believe we need new minds, fresh thinking coming in, new concepts, new research. We can't just keep investing in the same chemotherapy, radiotherapy and immunotherapy that actually hasn't really changed in the last 30 to 40 years. We also need to do what, similar to what we're doing here at Ahead of the Game Foundation. It's invested in alternative therapies. It's also not just uh, looking at the prehabilitation, but the rehabilitation. And here at the Foundation, we are bridging that gap where it is needed. To be shortlisted for this award is honestly an honour and a privilege for me. It proves that the work that I have done by dedicating my life to the world of brain tumours since I was diagnosed has really paid off and it is making a positive impact amongst our community. We need to raise the awareness of brain tumours because they in fact only receive 1% of all funding uh, when it comes to cancer. Uh, the fact that brain tumours are the biggest killer in the world of those under 40 it makes no sense why it's under, underfunded. So it's important that we raise the awareness, that we get the public behind us to get us back in, to be able to force changes at the top where they can de deliver more funds which will improve research and hopefully lead to better outcomes. The one message that I would give to everyone in the world is that with cancer, you know, there is another way, there is another option, but most of all, there is hope. My best moment as an influencer is launching Ahead of the Game Foundation, uh, which is now a registered charity. Within this foundation, I get to help those who have been diagnosed with uh, brain cancer, but also help them overcome by using my own lived experience, the brutal effects that treatment does have on those, those people. And by being there for them, we are bridging the gap in rehabilitation. And for me, it is one of the most rewarding things I have ever done in my life. I think my work is making a difference within the world of cancer and its community. Uh, we're providing um, rehabilitation and prehabilitation that isn't offered by the NHS. Uh, we are being able to give back a quality of life that they once had 
before their diagnosis and obviously the damaging effects that treatment has on a person. Um, the foundation is doing some incredible work. We've grown from being in a local community to now having a waiting list to access our free, fully funded rehabilitation programme across the world. It's something that I know is having a positive impact, especially within the world of cancer and more importantly, brain tumors. My advice to anyone who wants to get involved with raising the awareness of brain tumors is quite simply write a letter to your local MP and highlight how brain tumors are funded and how little they are funded. You can also take up a fundraising event. Uh, whether it's a park run, whether it's a sponsored walk, and donate that money to Brain Tumor Charity. You can also volunteer as well your services at the Brain Tumor Charity, but if it's not the Brain Tumor Charity, there are many other organisations and trusts that are directly involved with raising the awareness, but if that's something that you can't do, just something as simple as liking one of their posts or resharing it makes a massive difference. My name is Debbie and I'm a long-term friend of Dave Bolton and I have the honour of working with him at Ahead of the Game Foundation. Dave has been like a brother to me for many, many years. Um, as a friend, he is very supportive, he's caring, he looks out for me and he looks after me in my life. As a boss, he is very fun and inspirational to work for. I get to see him doing what he loves every single day. I get to see him helping others um, and make a real positive impact in people's lives. Dave makes me proud because since his diagnosis, he has been nothing but positive. When he was diagnosed in 2014, he took the news um, head on, basically. He made sure that he had his nutrition, his exercise and the right mind frame um, to fight his own diagnosis. Um, through each treatment, through each surgery, he was positive and he now uses that positivity to change people's lives. His story um, inspires others and I, on a daily basis, am proud of him because I receive the emails, I receive the inboxes from people seeing how much he's changed their life and how much um, of the get up and go that he gives others. Dave deserves this award as I think he deserves recognition for everything that he's achieved. He is in the top 2% of world survivors for glioblastoma. Um, he has set up a foundation from scratch and daily he impacts lives positively. A lot of people don't know that it is actually just currently myself and Dave that work at Ahead of the Game Foundation. So that is everything from social media, marketing, um, answering emails, and the influx of emails that we get on a daily basis is huge. Um, I think he deserves recognition for this because as the name of the award, he is an influencer um, to many people's lives and I think he deserves to be recognised for that.